Sean Davis, sporty, feisty and headstrong, according to her family. By 1975, she'd given up possessions and joined the commune based in this Brixton building that's now being investigated by police. Her family heard little from her for 20 years until they received a tragic call. Sean had died after falling from a window here in Herne Hill, South London, another building which the commune had taken over. She was in hospital for seven months, during which it's claimed a commune member told her mother over the phone that Sean was in India. Emma Morgan, Sean's cousin, told the BBC the few conversations the family had with Sean before her death were very stunted. Every answer was as almost being thought through, as if to say, am I OK to, to say this? And it always felt during the phone conversations that they had. I never had a phone conversation with Sean, but my sister did and so did her mother. There was, they always felt that there was somebody else listening to her because it wasn't a natural conversation. He says that at the inquest into her death, a commune member denied Sean had a child. A birth certificate seen by the BBC suggests she did. It's believed her daughter is Rosie, one of three women who last month called a charity from this flat for help to escape the group, triggering a huge police investigation. Sean's family believe her ties to the Marxists may have resulted from psychological indoctrination. Tom Simons, BBC News.